Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys, we're gonna talk about how to use list view in JavaFX application. So basically, we're just going to use the demo project that we have from the previous video. And we have here three files, the main.fxml, we have the main.java, and of course, the main controller that is the underlying code for our main.fxml. So if we try to re uh, preview our uh, demo project from before, we can see the combo box and of course we have the button for adding the items and if we click on a single element here it would uh, it will be redirected or reflected uh, in this particular label on top okay and we can always add items to our combo box by using this button so as you can see add more okay and then we have all the names added into our combo box now as i've said this is about list view so what we're uh, what we will do here is to add list view into our window so in order for us to do that let's open up our main.fxml file and then of course we're going to um, search for the list view element list view okay and then the list view should be drag and drop into our um, window or anchor pane and we can resize our anchor pane to accommodate the list view that we have um, added okay and then we can drag it here and maybe resize this okay and of course guys as always we can add um, reference ID for our um, list view so all we have to do is click on code or I mean click on the list view and go to code and specify the FX ID here so for example list view okay and press enter and then click on file and then save and now we're ready to go back uh, into our NetBeans um, project now we can generate again the main controller by right clicking the main.fxml and then main controller and again this is uh, this is going to generate the list view from our fxml file and I'm just going to um, change this into string okay and the list view guys works the same way with um, the same way with the combo box so we have the observable list here right so we can al also set the values or the element of this list into our list view okay so all we have to do is use the list view variable and then we can say set items and um, of course the observable list okay and then we can try to run our program clean and build first and um, right click and then run so now we have the list view and then we can select the elements or the names inside our list view and by default guys it is set to only select um, single element okay we can always uh, by default click on a single element but what if we want to try to select uh, multiple elements inside our list view so we can do that and let's go back to our main controller that Java so inside uh, in our initialize uh, method we can say list view and then get selection model and then of course set selection mode and the selection mode is the default is single but what we want is of course to select multiple element so list view that get select uh, get selection model that selection mode and then the selection mode that multiple so run our program again and we should be able to select multiple elements from our uh, list view 
Okay, as you can see here, we can now select multiple elements from our list view. Now, we can uh, try to, you know, get the selected items from our uh, list view. So, for example, if we click on John, uh, we want to return the value of this particular element and, of course, this one and, of course, this one. Okay? Now, let's go back to our main controller and maybe we can add another element or another button to our um, project. So, button and then we can uh, drag it here and then, of course, we can say or we can set the ID as um, btn btn get selected okay and then of course the on action event for this we can say uh, btn selected okay btn selected enter and then file and then save and maybe we can change the text so show selected something Show selected and save our file. Go back to our NetBeans IDE and uh, update the main controller by right-clicking the FXML file and then make a controller. So we have now the BTN get uh, selected, added, and of course we have the method uh, selected here. Now what we can do is every time we click on this BTN selected, it should display the element that has been selected from our list view. So in order for us to do that, we we can define the observable list here. Observable list and then set the type into string and then we can say names. Observable list, it should have the smaller i. And of course, we can say names equals um, list view and then get selection get selection model and we can say get selected items and of course guys we can loop through this uh, list names and we can display it in our console or something okay for uh, we can use the for loop so Open and close curly braces and then string name equals I mean colon names. So we're just uh, we're just going to iterate the names list and then of course we're going to display um, the name or the names that has been selected. Okay, so for example name. Okay, so let's try this clean and build our application and then we can run it right now and basically uh, if we try to click on a single element we can click on this show selected and as you can see it is uh, displayed here in our console or in our output window and again and again and again and of course we can try to select multiple elements from our list view and of course it should also display in our output window okay so of course guys you can always set the elements uh, by using the fxml as i have said before we can set the elements because for now we're setting the elements by using the main console uh, main controller that java but as I've said, we can set the elements from the main.fxml file. So let's try to do that here. So what we can do is instead of closing the list view like this, I'm just going to minimize this so you can see better. So instead of closing the list view like this, I can uh, you know, extend this and then close it here list view click yes yes view okay and then inside here we can set the uh, items of this uh, list view so all we have to do is define the items okay 
and then inside this items node we can say fx collections okay and then we can say fx factory equals observable observable array list okay and then of course we can specify the values here so so for example string and then of course the value is fx and then value and then the actual uh, value which is so for example item one okay and then of course we can try to copy and paste this just so we can uh, you know save time so um one two three and four and we can save this so as you can see we're getting the error from here fx collection class that does, uh, does not exist so what we can do is we can try to import the um this particular class fx collection so in order for us to do that let's um try to import it by using the import statement here so we can say import and then javafx dot collections okay and then of course that and then we're just gonna use the asterisk for that so save our file now we have no error in our fx collection class now that we have that fx collection um, we need to import also the string class so we need to add it here import and then java um java dot lang dot string okay okay and then we can save our main dot fxml file and run or clean and build our project first before we run our program once again so right now um, run and then it should have added all the elements that we have defined in our fxml file so we now have the item 1 item 2 item 3 and item 4 so i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and we have discussed on how to use the list view inside our javafx application so if you want to learn more about javafx so you can try to follow our javafx tutorial series so again guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video